Hello everyone and welcome to Good Knit Kisses and I am your host Kristen and on behalf of AllFreeKnitting.com today I want to show you how to knit a hat on the loom. We're going to use the smallest nifter, nifty knitter round loom today and I'm going to use two balls of yarn. I've got them in a little bowl and I'm going to set them off the side and then I've got my loom, I've got a little straw, just the little pick, a pair of scissors and a pipe cleaner and I'm going to use the pipe cleaner just for a moment to thread my um, yarn through this straw here. And if you can hear that, I'm not sure if you can, but there's a thunderstorm outside. And my daughter just came running downstairs and said, Mommy, Mommy, it's dark outside. <laughs> so I've just pulled this on through and it's, it's all through the straw. I don't need this pipe cleaner anymore. We're going to start with a slip knot. Wind it around your finger. Pull the back over the front. And then the back one again over the front and down. And it makes a slip knot. We're going to start on our beginning peg here. Next to the starter peg. Pull on this. And I'm going to just wind this into my project. So... I actually like to um, go ahead and kind of wind it on here. And I'm going to go back behind the peg on the next peg and go around the back and twist it. So it's going to make an E-wrap. And we're casting this on. This is how we get the yarn on the loom. Go around the back over the front and do it again. Back over the front. And wind these around. And I'm using these two and it's going to have this little... Um, nubby candy stripe effect with this pink and this white and they're both very soft. So we're going to continue all the way around the loom and I want you to wrap it all the way around and then come back to the beginning and do it one more time around and we'll pick up after that. So what I've done is now I've gone all the way around I want to uh, lock this in so I'm just going to lift the bottom up and over this very last one and then after I do that it's um, not going anywhere. So now I'm going to turn it around and knit off, or knit over. So go all the way around and come back around again. Now I've got uh, these extras. We're just going to lift everything up and over. It was the extra from um, our yarn here. And we're going to do just a classic beanie today. And all this is going to get um, stuck inside your brim. Uh, we're going to knit long enough and then we're going to flip the brim over just to show you the basic um, basic brim instructions with your Nifty Knitter looms and really we're just with doing any um, basic hat. So it's just, um, it's not really privy to Nifty Knitter but it is a, just a basic hat. So, uh, so that's our cast on row and we're going to wrap on again. just the e-wrap stitch. If we uh, continue going along you can actually continue this stitch until you get the length that you want and then you can skip ahead if you don't want a brim you can skip ahead to the end of the tutorial uh, I'll have this in a few sections and um, and then we'll finish off the hat but if you'd like to make a brim uh, keep watching. So lock this into position Go ahead and knit over. On this loom, about four rows equals an inch. So you want to make a brim that's going to be long enough to be doubled over to be the length of the brim you want. So if you want a brim that is one inch um, tall, where it starts to kind of bubble out, um, then you want to knit um, about eight rows, uh, maybe nine rows to accommodate for where it rolls. Uh, that way you get like a nice one inch tall 
uh, brim. If you want to have something small that kind of bumps out just a little bit, uh, then you could do that. So just knit until you get the length that you want and then stop. I want to make my brim and I've knitted about eight or nine rows and um, when I'm making hats, I'm <laughs> really bad. I really don't, I don't like to, um, I hate counting. I don't know about you, but I don't like to do it. So um, I actually just kind of knit until I've got sort of the length that I think I want and I'll come back and I'll count the rows by looking in between the pegs and go, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so what I do is um, when I double this over, we're going to make a brim. So I want you to kind of pick it up. So when you're done, look in between uh, one of these um, sets of pegs, like do these two pegs here, uh, follow the ridges. Um, see there's a ridge here. Um, and then find the loose end that matches with that. And then come down here push this peg in and put those two loops over it so you're you're making it your fabric double over and you're going to do the same thing on the next one and you know what I forgot to push these down so before I get started I'm going to push these down a little bit okay so I'll push them down I'm just kind of going to work my way in one direction and I'm going to take these loose strands and if it's easier kind of pick them up with your your tool here so you've got this strand kind of hold it because I want to start popping off and then this next one and then this next set and so you can see there's sort of a pattern here of the next two that are together because we're using two strands or I'm using two strands right now on my project so I'll end up having four strands on my loom so make sure it's this outermost um, loop. It's kind of loose. That's what I call it. So as you're going around, just make sure that uh, as you're picking up these outer parts, as you've got a few uh, on there, you can kind of look at this ridge here and make sure that you're um, lining it up. Go kind of around the back side and see if it's on the same peg that you're looking at. So if you see this peg here, make sure this ridge kind of follows around and you're knitting back onto that same ridge so that you're not um you're you're not twisting your your work. So I'm almost done. I'm kind of getting near the end here and I'm gonna pick up my loop so it probably get a little tighter for your fingers. And now I'm on the the loop right next to my starting peg. And when you go back here, you're going to find this slip knot that you had started. So it's going to be harder to put on than your others. You probably will need your uh, loom tool here. And uh, when you put these other ones on here, you're going to have this extra um, access that you had started with. So um, it, make sure that you're picking up the ones that you had started on with and, uh, and also the loose end. So now that you've got that, go ahead and um, knit over. And what it's going to do is lock up your work and create this brim. So I have successfully gone over all of this, um, knitted over, and I made this double uh, nice clean edge here for the starting of the hat. This is going to be the the end of the hat, and then the, the top will come out here, and then we'll gather it up together. Thanks for joining us on part one of Making a Hat, The Brim. Again, I'm Kristen with Good Knit Kisses, and from my friends at AllFreeKnitting.com, thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon. Happy crafting!